$300 at Sephora. Like, hello? I don't know, y'all. This is giving Oompa Loompa. Stop. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Y'all, I can't believe I'm filming a makeup look. Like, hello, a makeup look? Me? It's been decades. I did my makeup with all the new products. Girl, come on, let's go. Let's get into the video. So my logic when I went to Sephora is I picked up one product per section of my face where I got majority of like products per section of my face because I wanted to make sure that I had something to show you guys for like each section, each, what? Each section, if that makes any sense. So I wanted the Refi Beauty um, brow pencil, but they were out of it. So I ended up, I opted for the Patrick Ta Major Brow Defining Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. Y'all know I typically do my brows off camera. I'm just not a brows on camera type of person. I feel like it takes me so long to do my brows, but Lately, I've really only been filling in like where it's absolutely needed because I just feel like I don't have 15 years to be sitting here doing my brows. So I'm just going to, I like to fill in like right here and then like right in the front. Oh yeah, I'm working on faith right now because typically I would have my mirror like so close to my face, but I'm trying to get y'all to get these angles. I'm trying to get y'all to see what I'm doing. So that's typically all I do and then I just brush it up and then if I have like any sparse areas, I'll go in and fill that in. But this is my good brow, so I never really have any problems. And that's really it. I was trying to find a brow gel, but I wanted the one by Refi, but again, it was sold out. Her products are so popular. Nothing that I wanted from her was like available in store. I want her, um, you guys know that brush that Monet McMichael is talking about on Instagram, on TikTok? I don't know, when I seen her with that brush and I seen the way that it applied her makeup, I wanted that brush so bad. I'm trying not to slouch, I'm like down here. But I wanted that brush so bad, but it's sold out everywhere. So I think I'm gonna have to order it on Refai's website. Cause I went on their website and it's available on there, but it's not available in any Sephora. Okay, Patrick Ta, I see you. My brows look so good and that was like minimal effort. Wow. I primed my skin off camera because I didn't pick up a primer from Sephora. Again, I haven't really been into like the makeup community, so I'm so out of touch with everything. So I didn't grab a primer. I really wanted to try the Refi Beauty, um, the roll-on primer. That looks so cute and like so cool. But again, everything I wanted by Refi was sold out. Moving on to foundation. I picked up the House Labs foundation, y'all. I'm so late. This foundation came out so long ago, but I've been wanting to try it and I figured I got it with the sale, so I might as well get it. The packaging on this foundation is bomb. Like, look at this, hello? Like, this packaging is so cute. It gives me like perfume vibes, no? This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I picked up the shade. 370 medium neutral. I had a hard time like finding my shade. It says shake well before using, but I had a hard time like finding my shade because I feel like this is too orange. So I just went on TikTok and looked at Alyssa Ashley's to see which one she was wearing. And she said 370 and we're typically the same color. So this is the one I picked up, but I'm kind of scared that it's gonna be too orange. And I don't have a brush. I don't know what brush I wanna use. I'm gonna start off with one pump of this foundation. Well, that was one pump, that's nothing. Two pumps. This foundation is actually really runny. I've seen that in the store when I tried it on. So I'm going to apply it with my fingertips first. You see what I mean? This looks way too orange for my skin, but no other color matched me. This was like the most reliable match, I guess. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna spread it out all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush and blend it in and then I'll probably go in with my sponge. I don't know, y'all. This is giving oompa loompa, but we're gonna see. This brush is so old. I got this in cosmetology school. It is a Co 117 brush. If I can find it, I will link it down below. Everything will be linked down below, so make sure you check the description box for any products that you may wanna get. But I've been loving this brush. I used to love this brush so much when I was in cosmetology school. So let's see how we like this foundation. 
I should probably take my earrings off because I don't want my earrings to get foundation on them. The skin looks good. Honestly, I think I should have gotten two shades to mix, but I think it'll be fine once I add like my concealer and stuff because it is a little dark. But also summer's coming up, so I should be fine, but we'll see. This brush is bomb. I have loved this brush since the second that I got it back in like 2017. I don't feel like this foundation is full coverage because I can still see my acne scars through. You can still see like all the scarring on my face. So I don't necessarily feel like this foundation is full coverage. So let's see, maybe if I pat it and not like swipe. Y'all see this pimple right here? Girl, you would wanna pop up right before I'm about to film. And I don't know if you guys know, but I used to work at Sephora like a couple of years ago. And now that I'm back in the United States, I'm kind of thinking about going back to work there, especially because I'm getting back into doing makeup. And I just feel like I need something to do throughout the day. So I'm thinking that I want to like get a job at Sephora. I already talked to the manager and everything. So I'm going to apply and see how it goes. I like the way that it feels on my skin. It feels like it's giving me the Mario, like the Makeup by Mario foundation vibes, like super lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin, but it doesn't, it's not like full coverage. So I'm gonna go in with a, like a half a pump. So I'm just going to pat this on top of the areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. And you see that pretty much did the job. Just kind of like pat it on top. Honestly, I feel like if you let this concealer sit, not this concealer, y'all, what? I feel like if you let this foundation sit, it will probably be a really good, like super thick foundation. But I really like the coverage, it's really good. I'm surprised, it really doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. So now we're gonna move on to bronzers. So typically most people would do their concealer first and then do their bronzer or their contour, but I don't know, I just feel like personally, I like to do my bronzer or contour first because I like to be messy with it if that makes any sense. I like to blend it out very messily and then go back in on top of it with my concealer so that way everything like blends in perfectly and like seamlessly. So, cause I feel like if I put my bronzer on, if I put my concealer on first and then I go over with my bronzer or contour, I feel like I just undid all that work I did putting on concealer. I picked up the Makeup by Mario um, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Dark. They have, I was in between dark and medium. I felt like medium was too close to my skin, so it just kind of made it look muggy, muddy, and I did not like that, so I went with the shade dark. And I'm just gonna take that same brush I used to blend out my foundation, and I'm gonna take that on this as well. And I'm just gonna tap it in. And I wonder if a little bit goes a long way. I don't know, but we're about to find out. So I'm just gonna start by tapping it right here. And I'm not gonna take it past the corner of my eye because then you start going into the cheek and that's going to just make it look like it's not natural. Ooh, this is like super creamy and pigmented. I have a video on my channel all about how I contour and highlight for an oval face shape, but I kinda wanna do an updated one, so let me know. But in the meantime, I'll link the previous one down below that way you guys can watch it. But I feel like since then I've learned so much. This pimple is driving me crazy trying to put bronzer on top of it. Um, and I'm just kind of like blending that into my hairline. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So make sure you guys leave a comment before you exit this video. I'm gonna take this Sephora. Y'all look at how dirty and nasty this brush is. Like, are you kidding me? I should be embarrassed. Um, this is I don't know, it's so dirty, I don't even know the number of this brush. <gasps> I don't know what this brush is called, but it's this like little flat thing like this. You see it, it's super flat. I'm gonna use this to kind of chisel my nose a little bit. I'm really not like a big nose contour type of person. Can you guys see that? I'm really not, but I don't know, I wanna try something new. So I'm just kind of, chiseling my nose right here just to kind of give it some definition and bringing that up into the front of my brow. I feel like I can't see, my lights are so bright. It's hard for me to see what I'm doing. See, this one is not right. It goes right there. 
yeah. Well, I didn't pick up any new concealers, but I do have some concealers that I like from Sephora. I think I want to dabble in to the, um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers because I feel like these are making like a comeback, although they should have never left in the first place. For the concealers, I have the shade Custard Medium 1, and then I also have Macadamia Medium 1.5. So I think I'm gonna put Medium 1.5. Oh, wait, which one is darker? Yeah, I'm gonna do Medium 1.5 first, and then I'm gonna go in with um, Medium 1. Apply your concealer to your face shade. I know that watching makeup tutorials is like fun and educational or entertaining, whatever it is, but you really have to make sure that you are contouring and highlighting for your face shape because if not girl you're gonna look crazy so you can watch your favorite youtuber but or your favorite content creator but just make sure that you're not contouring according to what you see them do you still have to contour according to what your face shape is that way it looks the best for you it's been a couple of minutes since i let my concealer sit so i'm gonna blend it out make sure you are using a clean damp beauty blender i'm gonna start off with my chin and then my forehead and then do the center of my face. That way it has a little bit more time to set. And you see how it's like not moving? It's like staying in place. That's what I like. I don't necessarily want my concealer to move. Like where I put it is where I want it to stay, okay? Okay, so before I move on to continuing to blend out my skin, I picked up a new setting spray. I picked up the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night, Stay All Day by Charlotte Tilbury. Mmm, it smells good. Honestly, it feels like I just sprayed water on my face, but it smells really good. But it's not like an overpowering smell, you know? So now I'm just gonna blend out my forehead. Yeah, that adding that setting powder really helped out a lot. I mean, adding that setting spray really helped blend it out because my chin was a little too hard to blend out for my liking. Shout out to Kyra for gifting me this watch. I won one of her giveaways and she gave me this watch. I was so freaking hyped because I've been wanting a JBW watch for a minute, but I just didn't want to pull the trigger on buying one. But ever since she gifted me this one, I've been like, I need to buy one for myself. I'm gonna take the little small part. This is a Juno and Co sponge, by the way. If you don't want to spend like $20 on a beauty blender, I highly recommend this sponge. It's so good. It's the cloud sponge. I, I love it. I love, love, love it. And I'm just going to blend out my concealer. I try not to like move it much. I try to really keep my concealer right where I placed it because that's where I placed it. <laughs> so I'm just blend it out in place. I'm really just doing like up and down tapping motions. I'm not like swiping or doing anything like that. That's cute. You see, okay, you guys see that crease right there under my eye? Right there, you guys see that under my eye? So I have to move my nose over so that I could get that crease. Otherwise, it's gonna stay there and then it's gonna look cakey. So far, I'm really liking every product that I tried. There isn't a product that I've used that I'm like, I'm taking back or I don't like it. I actually really like the products and I like the way my skin is looking with everything put together. Like all these products are blending well together, which is really not that common because if you know anything about trying makeup, you just don't know what's not gonna work until you try it. This is the part that I feel like I'm the most scared about because setting powder is either gonna like make or break my foundation routine. Um, or like right now it looks good, but if I set my face and I don't like this powder. But nonetheless, I hear nothing but good things about it. This is the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in the color Translucent. I'm gonna use the Morphe R40 brush to like set close to my under eye. And then I'm also gonna use my powder puff that's extremely dirty and needs to be washed. Don't judge me, judge your mama. So I'm gonna blend this out. I really hope this powder works for me because I don't have no plan B, y'all. Lightly set my face with this powder first. You don't wanna necessarily like heavy set the first time because that's when it gets cakey. So you wanna like lightly set, make sure you get all those creases and then you can go back in later and like actually bake or whatever, but I like to do it like this first because I just feel like I have more control of my product and it doesn't like get cakey on my skin. See, and that's really all I use the brush for is my under eyes. Everything else I use a brush 
like a fluffy brush or like my powder puff. So I'm gonna take my powder puff and just blow. I don't know if you can purchase this at Sephora. I don't remember where I got this from. I think I ordered it straight from Tati's website when she was selling these. And I'm gonna bring that right up against my nose. And then I'm just going to drag whatever is left over down to set the rest of that. I can cut, okay. So far the powder doesn't feel drying on my skin. I'm not gonna speak too soon, but I can see why the people like it. It really does look airbrushed. And again, I'm bringing that right up the side of my nose. And then whatever's left over, I'm just gonna drag it down. You see right here, I get that crease, that weird crease. So I have to like drag it down. I just took whatever was left over on the cap and I'm just setting, lightly setting the rest of it. Just to like take away that shine. So far, I like the powder. My skin doesn't feel like dry or anything like that and it actually looks good. So I did not purchase this today, but I absolutely love it and I wanted to include it in this video. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan 40 or 40 Tan. I've been using this for years. It's been a staple in my collection for years. Hands down, like one of the best products. My skin looks amazing. It just, it smooths everything out. I love it. And I like to just tap it into my brush and then tap off the extras. And then I'm just gonna kind of set. I really leave like the parts that I want the brightest alone. It's typically just like here around my forehead a little bit, just to kind of like bring some color back into my skin. You see what I mean? Using that translucent powder kind of took all the color out of my face. So I'm just going in with this just to kind of bring it back, but I'm leaving the center of my face alone because obviously I do want this part of my face to be bright. Now it's time to set your cream bronzer with a powder bronzer and i've been seeing these okay so originally this was already a thing this was the laguna bronzer has already been around but if i'm not mistaken they reformulated and came back out with a new one i'm in the shade laguna six and i've been seeing this all over tiktok all over instagram like every social media platform everybody's raving about this product so i picked it up because i'm like i want to try it i'm going to use my morphe r2 brush to kind of like bronze up my cheeks um, because I want to see the real test that already has a bronzer that I like on it. So I want to see if I'm really going to like this bronzer with a clean brush. And I'm just going to tap right into there, dip in there, tap off the X. Y'all seen all that powder? Did y'all see all that powder? You do not want that on your face. You see that? So I tap all the extras off and then I'm going to just like pat again, not taking it past my corner of my eye. Um, that's cute and then i'm going to just kind of i'm a very like oh yes yeah look yeah look at that i'm a very like messy bronzer type of person i'm gonna do one side of my face so we can see the difference but i'm a very messy bronzer type of person i really just like the super messy sun kiss look so see you see the difference you see how this just added and i like to put it on my cheeks too but you see how this just added like warmth and like just brought my face back to life versus this side. It doesn't look bad, but it just looks like super flat. Girl, bronzer will change your life. I'm obsessed. This step is like 100% optional, but I dropped mine and it like shattered into a million pieces and I wanted another one because I'm like, it's just, it's so good. Like I just can't not have this product in my kit. Um, this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfection Micro Powder in the shade Medium. I am obsessed with this powder. Like, it gives, y'all. Like, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend trying it. I'm gonna just tap it in just like that and just kind of like press right here and just look like, y'all. Like, do you see that? You see how it just like, hello? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love this product. You probably really can't tell because I already have the one size powder on top, but I can tell a difference 100%. And I'm gonna spray my face again with my setting spray. And then just go in with my sponge just to make sure that everything is like blended in perfectly. 
probably should not have set my eyes. That was not a good idea. So I forgot to do this step beforehand, but typically I will put on my Rare Beauty blush when my face is still wet, but I forgot. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Actually, I need to shake it up because I feel like I haven't used it in a minute. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and then just go in with my sponge to kind of tap it onto my skin. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't cause any turmoil with my face so let's see and i'm just going to just tap it oh that looks horrible yikes okay let's see i'm just tapping it in tapping it tapping it tapping it oh i have been dying to try pillow talk or one of charlotte tilbury's lip liners and i finally got my hands on the pillow talk lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner in the color pillow talk i'm assuming that is i don't know i think i think this is pillow talk so i'm so excited it's cute so i'm also gonna go in on top of that with the makeup by mario moisture glow plumping lip color in the shade soft nude when i seen this in the store i was like oh i have to have it like i just have to stop i'm obsessed this is like my perfect lip color Oh, and it's, it's really pigmented too. So um, I really only just did that one swipe. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. Oh, it looks, my nails, look at this y'all. I'm about to do my nails after this video, don't judge me. But my skin, the makeup, the lips, the skin, Everything looks so good. I loved every single product that I tried today, but out of everything, if you had to tell me, Lex, what should I get? If I had to get one thing, what would it be? Honestly, it would be this. This right here is a must. I highly recommend it. But yeah, comment down below and let me know what products did you guys try? Do you plan on picking up any products? Did watching this tutorial make you say, I'm about to go pick this up? Comment down below and let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm.